Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to design the bottle opener just like the one seen here. And in our next video, we're going to learn how to manufacture this bottle opener from a block of aluminum 6061. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's come on up here to file and we're going to start a new design. Let's go ahead now and start a sketch here on our XY plane. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw out a series of circles here. I'm going to Grab my circle drawing tool and right at my origin, I'm going to draw out a circle with a diameter of 1.41. Enter. I'm going to create another one with a diameter of 1.13. Enter. Okay, and then I'm going to kind of move these circles over to the side and I'm going to grab my circle uh, drawing tool again and right in this area over here, I'm going to draw out. Um, two more circles. The first one has a diameter of 0.67 inches and I'm going to draw another circle that's concentric to this one so I'm going to start here and draw a circle with a diameter of 0.87 inches. Okay so I want to go ahead now and use my horizontal constraint and I want to make sure these circles are horizontal with these circles. Okay I'm going to hit escape now I am going to dimension the distance between these guys, these circles, a distance of 3.378 inches. Hit enter. Alright, I want to hit escape now. Grab your line tool. Come on over here and we're going to just kind of draw out some lines that look like this. All right, and I'm going to hit escape once again, and I'm going to go ahead and grab my sketch dimension tool, and I want this distance from this corner to here to be one inch. Same thing here on the other side, one inch. And then dist this distance from here to here, 0.3 inches. And this distance from here to here, 0.3 inches. All right, now we got to get our tangent constraint, and we got to get make this one's already got a tangent constraint, but we'll just throw it on there. Okay, here tangent to here. We need this line tangent to here, and this line tangent to the here. Okay. I'm going to hit escape. All right, and finally we want to grab our line tool and we're going to draw a line perfectly vertical from our origin straight up to here. Same thing on the other side, down to here. Okay, I want to hit escape. I'm going to finish my sketch and we are now going to extrude all of these guys a distance of 0.475. Hit enter. Alright, and now we're going to come back to our sketches here and we are going to make this sketch visible. We're going to start a sketch here on the top and we are going to go to create and we're going to project some geometry here. We're going to project this line and this line and this line. Hit OK. Finish our sketch and we're going to extrude this portion right here and we're going to cut, we're going to go down a distance of minus 0.4 inches. All right, and with this sketch uh, still exposed or seen here with our eyeball on, we're going to come over and we're going to create yet another sketch here on the top. And we're going to project some more geometry. We're going to come on over here to project. We're going to select that guy, that line, that line, that line that line, that line, hit OK, finish our sketch, and we are going to extrude this portion right here, and we're going to cut away a distance of minus 0.18 inches. And hit OK. Alright, so next we're going to go ahead and add two fillets. 
as you probably know our tools are not capable of manufacturing sharp corners like this so we're going to click there and we're going to click there and we're going to set that fillet radius size to be 0.5 inches and hit OK. All right, next we're going to go ahead and start a 2D sketch here on this surface. Okay, um, I am going to create and go down to project and we're going to project this portion right here. Then we're going to draw two circles, one here, that's concentric, and this distance is going to need to be 1.3 inches for the diameter. And we're going to draw another circle that's concentric over here with a diameter of 1.86 enter. Alright and then we are going to let's see here we want to offset this guy right here a distance of minus 0.1 Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and trim some lines here. So we want to trim this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this line. Okay, and then over here, over here, and over here. Okay, then you, so you should end up with something like this. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and finish my sketch. And I'm going to extrude this now to create the pocket. And I want to cut into the part a distance of minus 0.19 inches. Enter or OK. I'm going to go ahead and take the visibility of the sketch off. Next we're going to go ahead and throw some fillets in these corners because once again our tools cannot create these sharp corners. So we're going to click there, click there, click there, click there and we're going to add a fillet radius distance of 0.14 inches and hit OK. And then we're going to add some corner uh, rounds here on these edges right here. Okay, so grab our fillet tool once again, click there, click there, click there, click there, and we're going to make those fillets a distance of 0 0.07. Hit OK. Alright, so when you get pretty far into the part, go ahead and save it. Just call it bottle opener. I'm going to call it as number two because I already made one. Hit save. And now we are going to create a sketch. We're going to start creating the lip of our bottle opener, the part that actually removes the bottle cap. So we're going to start a sketch right there. I'm going to make a construction line. So I'm going to draw a line from our origin, perfectly horizontal. Hit escape. I am then going to take it out of construction line mode. I am going to grab my line tool once again and I'm just going to kind of draw out some lines in this area. And then I'm going to hit escape and I am going to dimension these lines to be 45 degree angles from our construction line. And then I'm going to draw out a circle here, something like this. Okay, and I'm going to dimension it from here to here. I want that distance to be 0.1. Enter. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and trim some features up here. Um, actually, I do want to do this. I want to come on over to Create first, go to Project, and I do want to project this line right here. Okay, hit OK. And now let's trim some stuff up. So we're going to trim that guy up. This guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this line, and this line, that line, and finally that guy right there. 
and then we're going to throw some dimensions in here. We're going to make sure that this guy from here is 0 0.07. And it's hopefully the same on this side. Yep. Now let's go ahead and finish our sketch. Now let's go ahead and finish our sketch. And we are going to extrude this little portion right here. A distance of, and make sure it says join, minus 0.11 and select OK. And the one thing we need, still need to do is to hollow out this portion over here. So we're going to come back to our initial sketch right here. Um, Let's go ahead and start a sketch here. And we're just going to project some geometry. Finish our sketch, extrude that guy a distance through all. Hit OK. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make this sketch not visible. All right, and now we're going to create some custom fillets. All right, and it's a little bit more difficult. I mean, usually we would just come in and we would just grab our fillet tool and create a fillet right there. But because we're manufacturing this part, we're going to try things a little bit differently now. So please try to follow along. So let's first come on over here to origin and I need to come down and I'm going to start a sketch here on my XY plane. It goes right down the middle. Okay. And then I am going to project some geometry. That guy and that guy. And then I'm going to come over to my line tool. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to draw a line that goes up a distance of 0.125 or 1 eighth of an inch. I'm going to draw another line that's horizontal, the same distance, 0.125. Enter. Okay, and then I'm going to grab my arc tool, three point arc, I'm going to click on my first point, click on my second point, and I am going to make, well, an arc, and then I'm going to dimension it to be 0.125, enter, okay. And finally, I need to, I'm going to eventually revolve this around the part. So to do that, I'm going to need a center line. So I'm going to come over, I'm going to create a construction line that goes right down the middle. And I'm going to keep coming across until that midpoint right there. And then I'm just going to come down and draw a construction line all the way down the middle. Okay. I'm going to hit escape now. Finish my sketch. We're going to come to revolve. So it wants your profile. We're going to select that guy, your axis. We're going to select that guy. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and hit OK. You could adjust it so it doesn't go all the way around. You could just, you know, adjust the degrees here, maybe do like 180 or something. But for what we're doing, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And then we're going to start a sketch on this guy. Create. And once again, project geometry. This portion right here. Hit OK finished our sketch. We're going to go ahead now and extrude this distance and we're just going to go through a distance through all, cut through, cut all of it, and hit OK. So now we have this beautiful looking fillet here. Okay. Now we need to repeat this process on this edge right here. So we are now going to start once again a sketch here on our XY plane. Okay, I'm going to flip it around so it looks something like this. And let's go ahead and project some geometry. Let's project that guy and that guy. And over here to hit OK. All right, grab our line tool, come to our corner here and draw a line. That is point one two five inches vertically 
and then we're going to do one horizontally too and the same distance 0.125 grab your arc tool three-point arc click there click there and dimension this guy to be 0.125 okay and now I'm going to come over to my construction line and we're just going to this is going to be our center center revolve line and I'm just going to draw another line down here finish my sketch and we're going to revolve it around this axis right here hit OK flip the part over start a sketch here once again go to create project geometry finish sketch extrude a distance of all and hit OK okay so now we got these two wonderful looking uh, fillets on both sides of our bottle opener okay so the next step we need to do is to make sort of this custom chamfer right on this uh, edge right here so it's gonna be kinda like our fillets but we're gonna actually cut material this time with our revolve tool so once again let's come on up here start a sketch on this surface right here I'm gonna rotate it around zoom in for you come to create and let's project some geometry I want to project this line right here hit OK grab my line tool I'm gonna to come to that line that I just projected from the very end of it I'm gonna draw out a line horizontal with a distance of 0.1 inches click come down draw another line with a distance the same distance of 0.1 inches enter and then I'm gonna connect these the triangle basically here like this okay and then I'm gonna grab a construction button and I'm gonna create a construction line this is gonna be our revolve our center revolve axis right here okay hit escape I'm gonna finish my sketch and what we're going to do now is come to revolve again select our profile okay select our axes make sure it says cut and hit OK all right and the next thing we need to do is just add some fillets and this time we don't need to do any sort of custom fillets we can just use our fillet button we're going to come on in select that edge select that edge and we want really tiny fillets are going to be 0.02 hit OK and then we're gonna add two more fillets one here one there and we're, those fillet radius dimensions are gonna be 0.14 and hit OK alright and the last finishing touch we need to add are some chamfers along the outer edges of our part and these are mostly uh, to serve as deburring passes so we don't end up with all these sharp edges when we actually go to machine this guy later so we're gonna come on over here to modify we're gonna grab the chamfer tool and we are going to add chamfers to just about every edge you see here so this one um, this bottom one this outer edge right here this one All right, this guy right here, this outer circle, and this inner circle, and this one down here, and I believe that's all of them. This one, this one. We're not going to add one here, so we want to set our chamfer distance though to be 0 0.02 inches. Okay, and hit OK. And I just want to double check to make sure. everywhere has a chamfer here all right it looks good all right so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the visibility of sketch 7 I'm gonna flip my part over and I want to start a sketch here on this surface 
and here's where you're going to add some text sort of some custom text so you can engrave your name or if you're making this as a gift as somebody else's name or whatever so I'm going to come on up here to create and we are just going to add some text and I'm just going to kind of I don't know drag something out like that okay and let's change the text here size to 0 0.14 and maybe a little bit bigger make it uh, align it center here and then you're just going to put your name here okay and let's see here that's probably a little small so we can make it let's try 0.18 see what happens maybe still kind of small so and I'll be honest you want your text pretty large but not too large so um, let's just try 0.2 that's pretty good I'm gonna hit OK and now I am going to dimension it so that it's kind of centered here so I'm gonna Mm, it's pretty good centered that way. Let me see here. Let's stick with that dimension. The problem is we need to move it down. So let's come over here to create. Project. We're going to project this circle. And OK. And then we are going to move it down. So we're going to click here to this guy and we're going to make that distance let's try uh, 0.18 that looks pretty good um, but we could do better right so 0.15 all right and that looks good I mean you can fool around with it as much as you want to for me I'm pretty happy with where my text is you want it centered you want your text large you don't want it too small so that's pretty much it. So um, remember, you can also go back in, change the font or, you know, change some things to your liking. All right. So whenever you're done, go ahead and finish your sketch. OK. And you want to leave your text on here. We're not going to extrude it. Um, what we'll do later is we will just reference our text to engrave. OK. So that's it. Um, the last thing you always want to do is go to modify. We want to assign a physical material to our part and we are going to manufacture these out of aluminum 6061. So go to metal, come on down to aluminum, find aluminum 6061, drag it to it, hit close, and that is it. Our bottle opener is officially done. Okay, so when you when you are done, don't forget to save it. Okay, in our next video, We'll start learning how to manufacture this guy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.